I, as usual, have not planned any of this. I just saw the picture and thought I want to do that and now I'm doing it and welcome to my channel. I am literally a chaos hobbit. Hello friends and welcome back to The Air Effect. If you are new, my name is Christina and I run this channel because I like old books, I write novels, I like vintage clothes, and I want to live a practical vintage no lifestyle. I'm trying a new thing. I'm still figuring out my intro. As you can tell by the title, this week I'm going to be making myself a Halloween costume, specifically from Over the Garden Wall. So, I am new to the Over the Garden Wall fandom. I learned about Over the Garden Wall through Rachel Maxey when she did making um, Wirt and Greg's costumes from, I think it was last year? I want to say it was last fall. That's when I first heard of it, and I finally got around to watching it this fall, and of course I'm utterly in love. I think it's such a weird and fun show, and I really like the animation, and it's got Elijah Wood in it, so you can't go wrong, right? Um, it's also got my doppelganger in it. Uh, everybody says that I look like her, probably not with this makeup on. I originally had planned to make a 1920s Halloween costume because they are so cute. Can you not, like, can you not? You cannot look at these and tell me they're not adorable. But I couldn't find one that I knew for sure I could make. I wanted to make something from fabrics that I already have or things that I knew I could probably thrift. I try to make my sewing adventures sustainable, more sustainable. So, as I was looking through all of these 1920s inspiration costume patterns, I stumbled across this illustration from Little Ghost Co. and I fell in love. I had just finished watching Over the Garden Wall and I had thought about maybe doing a lookbook inspired by Over the Garden Wall because there's a lot of really fun things you can do with that. But then I saw this illustration and I just, I, I need to make this. I love everything about it. Green and orange is one of my favorite color pairings. I love the way that the dress looks. I like the little zigzag at the top. I just, it's so good. So I contacted the artist and I made sure that it was okay that I would recreate her drawing. She said, absolutely. Go follow her on Instagram, support her on Etsy. I will link all of her things down below so that you can go support an indie artist. Originally, I thought that I was going to <laughs> find a tablecloth um, I have seen like green striped, subtly green striped tablecloths before, especially around this time of year with Christmas, but I couldn't find any. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll get a sheet. And I didn't find any green striped sheets either. And then I started to panic. <laughs> but my husband, bless him, found me an alternative, which honestly I'm not looking forward to, but it's going to work. It has to work because this is my only option. I have two sheets. So, to make this dress, because I couldn't find any striped fabric, I am going to make striped fabric. I am not looking forward to sewing a bunch of strips together to make the striped fabric, but hopefully it will work. Because I don't have any other options. The top part is the part that I'm most concerned about. Because it's zigzag and I don't have any interfacing and Ideally, that's what you want. You want some lightweight interfacing to put in there to hold the structure of the shape. But I don't have that. I could not find any while thrifting and I didn't want to go to the store for some. So it's just going to be what it is. For Enoch's head, I will probably just make him out of cardboard or potentially paper mache. And aside from that, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I, as usual, have not planned any of this. I just saw the picture and thought I want to do that and now I'm doing it and welcome to my channel. I am literally a chaos hobbit. Let's get into it. Hopefully this goes well. We shall see. I dressed myself as a pumpkin in order to adhere to the theme and hopefully that gives me some good luck. So 
I did not film my whole lot of footage making this dress. And I'm so sorry about that, but I was sick. I'm still sick at the time of filming and editing this. But I was sick and I was really stressed about making this right. I really wanted it to look good. So I decided to just film some transition shots. For the dress, I took two sheets and I cut them into strips and then I sewed them all together and I made just a very simple long rectangle that I gathered into a skirt. For the bodice, I had some orange fabric that I had thrifted a while ago and I used the pattern that generally works well on me and I, I cut it out before I really had a plan for what I was doing in the bodice. At first I thought I was going to make the collar the way it is in the picture, but then I didn't want to calculate how I was going to have to curve each piece, so I ended up making it an off-the-shoulder bodice and I cut off the top of the, the bodice completely because I didn't need any of the sleeve bits. So. Hopefully you get the gist of what I did. It was a very, very simple thing to make. And then I threw a zipper in the back and I was done. I just cut him out of cardboard and I used my kids acrylic paint to paint him I was really really determined not to have to go out and buy anything else except for the sheets for this project so I mixed what I had figured it out and just went with it this whole project cost me about eight dollars I want to say the fabric of the sheets was the most expensive thing and everything else I already had so highly recommend if you want to sew but you're afraid of the expenses go thrift stuff and that way you don't feel as bad if you mess it up because you know it was thrifted but anyway That is all that I did. It was a really simple project. Just a lot of little interesting details to make it look good. And let's get to the reveal.
wrap-up time. Um, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. As you can tell, I did change up the neckline a little bit because I didn't want to calculate how I had to slant all of these little triangly things in order to get it to curve. Because as you know, I don't have the sound thing on. Because as you know, I'm a little bit of a lazy sewer, sewist, seamstress. So, um, I'm actually really happy with the way that it looks though. I really like this neckline. I love off the shoulder things and I think I will wear it a lot like this. I know that I probably didn't take a lot of creating footage because I was sick. I still am sick. Um, it is what it is, but hopefully you all enjoyed watching that anyway. I had, mm, I didn't actually have a lot of fun making this. I loved making the Enoch head. I thought that was really fun, but as I've said, I'm not really much of a sewing person. I, I don't enjoy filming sewing videos <laughs> so much. You're so squeaky. So I didn't film a lot of the sewing process because I was sick, because I was really stressed about how I was going to make this work. Um, overall, I'm really happy with it. I like the way that the neckline looks. I obviously changed that from the way that it is in the pictures. I think the one thing that I need to fix, which I always forget to fix, is that I need to shorten the waist on the dress a little bit because the pattern that I use is slightly longer than me. And I always think, oh, I'll shorten it at the end, and then I always forget to shorten it. So I don't know if I actually will bother. I don't mind the way that it looks now, but in the future, in my brain, I need to remember to shorten that pattern. <laughs> If there's anything that I would change, and I will probably go back and fix, it's the back because it's floppy, as you saw. Um, I didn't think about that. I know that the front is held by the way that it's angled and by my arms, but the back, there's nothing to hold it up. So, I don't know if maybe I'll just go back and fold it all under and, like, tack it down so that it'll stay, or if I'll just try to stiffen it somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to fix it yet, but I don't really mind it. It's not a big deal. Um... But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I love the way it turned out. I was really worried about sewing the stripes. I was worried that it wasn't going to work right. And then I was worried that I wasn't going to get it done. Um, I changed up how I was going to the top so many times that I don't even remember what my original plan was anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. Make sure that you go follow Little Ghost Co. on Instagram and buy stuff from her Etsy. I have plans to buy one of her prints for my house because I think her artwork is really cute. So that was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Happy Halloween. Have a safe and wonderful Halloween doing whatever it is that you're going to do. I am probably just going to eat all the kids candy because mom privileges. <laughs> If you would like to support my channel in more ways than just liking and subscribing and commenting, you can always go down and check out my Ko-Fi link where you can tip me for the work that I do here on my channel. I always appreciate that support. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye! Pumpkin spice, eggnog, latte. It's not even coffee at this point, it's just flavoring. <laughs>